I am Dr. Nigam Prakash Narayan and uh, I am Professor of Pediatrics in Patna Medical College. I have headed the department uh, in the same department and uh, I have been a member of uh, expert committee of uh, the state government of Bihar for improving the health care in the state. And uh, I have always also been a secretary and president of National Neonatology Forum of uh, Bihar State Branch. And I have been in the governing body of the central organization of uh, National Neonatology Forum uh, way back. Uh, I have also been uh, president of the East Zone Academy of Pediatrics. And I am based in Patna and I'm still a teacher of Patna Medical College. In Bihar, we have uh, five institutions which are providing the uh, postgraduate uh, degree and diploma. Uh, three of them are situated in Patna, that is Patna Medical College, Nalanda Medical College, and Kurji Holy Family Hospital, whereas the two others are there in Darbhanga and Bhagalpur. We have got a very uh, good uh, number of medical colleges imparting the undergraduate education also and uh, which have a syllabus for especially designed to uh, give them an insight of the child care uh, that is called pediatrics. And uh, more than that, uh, we have many other courses also which are related to the child care. As for example, the IMNCI that is called Integrated Management of Neonatal and Childhood Illnesses. And other than that, we have got uh, uh, IYCF that is Infant and Young Child Feeding and uh, we have some IGNU courses also. So we are very much involved in the pediatric education, uh, whole of our Bihar team and uh, we have pretty well pediatric uh, I mean, education. Uh, if you compare to other states, I think we have uh, a good number of postgraduate students, especially in Patna Medical College itself, we have 42 uh, postgraduates uh, working very hard and uh, getting taught by us. So we have got a good number and the quality also, you see, because uh, we have uh, got uh, teachers trained not only in India, but also in abroad. And we are trying to bring actually the another degree of Royal College that is called DCH UK uh, to this city of Patna, which is only available at the moment at uh, seven uh, big cities. So in Patna, we are trying to bring that also. We have tried our level best to improve the health care. But uh, as you see, the population is a vast population in, in Bihar and uh, it is sometimes very difficult to uh, give the best to the numbers actually and uh, i was a part of that expert committee and we had advanced a list of proposals in involving the child care and out of that uh, more important was to focus on the deaths of due to diarrhea and pneumonia and uh, the newborns also as well. So we had uh, forwarded a list of proposals. I can't just uh, enumerate them in one go, but uh, government of Bihar had taken it very seriously. Uh, the effects are, I think, gradually coming, but uh, it will still take a long way to go because uh, still our, you see, infant mortality rate is very high. Uh, it is uh, 42 uh, at the moment and uh, when the newborn mortality rate is high, which is uh, around 29 per thousand live births. So it is still long way to go as uh, we want to reduce the number of neonatal mortality to single digit by 2020. This is our actually aim, but uh, I think if we want to achieve this aim, lot of things have to be done. As I told you, the most important challenge is uh, the uh, deaths due to the simple illnesses like diarrhea and pneumonia. 
The other challenge is uh, the coming epidemics. The one epidemic is called acute encephalitis syndrome. I was a part again for making a very good uh, protocol for uh, managing these, uh, this epidemic of uh, AES, we call it ac acute encephalitis syndrome, uh, due to which there were many rampant deaths actually in uh, North Bihar, Muzaffarpur and Gaya. But uh, fortunately enough, in the last two years, uh, after that uh, protocol which was followed uh, all through the state, the mortality due to this illness has come down. Similarly, we are fighting with diarrhea and pneumonia, though we know that uh, still, I think, uh, in periphery, the uh, ample you see, drugs and uh, ample ORS is not available at the moment. And I think we have to secure that, uh, see, do simple things to combat these uh, diseases. Vaccination also has uh, been a part of, uh, I mean, great achievement, I can say, uh, that uh, uh, after the initial five years of the last government, actually, uh, there was a very good uh, increase in the number of immunizations. And uh, we could reach up to 60 and odd percentage, uh, where as we were much below in, in 15 to 20 percent full routine immunization was done. So I think we have come a long way, but still I think we have to achieve at least 90 percent of our children should be fully immunized. So still I think we have uh, some goals to achieve, but uh, definitely we have come a long way if we compare from 20 to 62 percent. If uh, our girls, they get a full knowledge of child care right in their you see, uh, initial education, uh, secondary education, I'm sure that uh, they can be, actually they can prove to be a very good mother ultimately. And they can actually uh, argue, they can prove their logistics about breastfeeding, about the healthy child care. I think these things and even the infant nutrition, uh, if it is taught to them and if it is, uh, if they are empowered with this knowledge and if they can exercise this in their see, motherhood, I'm sure that the child care will improve.